One of the more interesting aspects to Godzilla King of the Monsters was the idea that it introduced several new titans to the Monsterverse, none of which that we had seen before, with designs that were so out there and interesting that they were definitely going to go down as fan favorites. And one of which that we spotted in one of the early trailers looked to be a living mountain, which has been officially designated by Monarch Sciences as Titanus Methuselah. So in this video, we'll explore the Titan known as Methuselah, and what his role in the Monsterverse is based on all the information that we know so far. So Methuselah is an ancient prehistoric giant armored Titan, and his name comes from the biblical patriarch Methuselah, known for his exceptionally long life. What we can gather from the name connection possibly could mean that Methuselah predates all other titans on Earth, but nothing's conclusive at this moment. In terms of appearance, Methuselah is a quadrupedal titan with a living forest growing on his armored shell. His horns grow from the top of his head and curl inwards. He has hind legs with hooves and his front legs have claws on them. Possibly this helps with burrowing underground to rest. Thanks to the official novelization for Godzilla King of the Monsters, we got to understand a bit of Methuselah's history on Earth. During the novel, there is a scene in which two university students in Munich, Germany, discuss a legend that one of them has heard about the area. According to one of them, their grandfather told them the story of a village that was once in Munich, but it disappeared mysteriously with a mountain taking its place. This supposedly happened very long ago, possibly during the Middle Ages. The pair are then startled once the mountain shifts behind them and reveals Methuselah. He's described as standing on four immense legs and having a face and horns like a bull from some ancient hell. With each step, the forest growing on its rocky back shivered and shook. One of the more frightening elements of Methuselah is his white, massive, piercing eyes. The reason Methuselah finally awakes from his hibernation is due to Ghidorah's call. Like the rest of the Titans in the film, he begins to hunt, joining the rest of the pack, and we see low-quality footage of him attacking a railway in Munich, before heading to Boston after the Orca device is activated by Madison Russell. Though he also doesn't arrive until Ghidorah is already dead, and bows before his new alpha, Godzilla, as he's crowned King of the Monsters. From what we know so far, Methuselah is capable of camouflage due to his shell having the ability to support life. He can quickly become a mountain without anyone realizing it. His outer shell is capable of shrugging off most attacks due to its armor plating, and for offensive capabilities, his horns are great for thrashing prey. As an easter egg, the monarch outpost that Methuselah was being held at was Outpost 67, which could be referencing the Son of Godzilla film released in 1967 by Toho. At the end of King of the Monsters, thanks to news clippings and headlines from around the world, after the events of that film, we know that the Titans are converging upon Skull Island due to activities happening beneath the island calling the Titans to it. We also know that Kong is active and trying to defend his home against these invading titans that he doesn't know, so it should be interesting to see if Methuselah is among the crowd that heads over to Skull Island. But what are your guys' thoughts on Methuselah? Personally, he was the one that I was interested in hearing about the most just because he looks so unique and interesting and the fact that he was essentially a living mountain. He almost kind of reminded me of the scene in Detective Pikachu when the massive Torterra are revealed to be part of the living gardens. But like I said, drop your thoughts down in the comments below and for everything Monsterverse and pop culture, be sure to subscribe to HN Entertainment.